Hello, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music, today teaching you how to play One Step Ahead by Split Ends on the bass guitar. We've got three things to learn. A verse, a pre-chorus, and a chorus. Here's how the verse goes. So not only is this the verse, they use it in the introduction as well. What we're playing here is frets 10 and 9 on string number 3. So you can use your dots to locate fret 9. Most basses have dots on 3, 5, 7 and then 9. So we're moving 1 above 9 at 10 twice, which is a G note. Then back to F sharp. G, G, F sharp. Going up a string now and using exactly the same frets 10 and 9 on your top string for the notes D, C sharp. We start hitting those three times though as opposed to two. So we got one, two, one, two, one, two, three, or oh, one, two, three. Then to eighth fret C. That is the note that we find top string C. Then slide on back to 3rd fret G. Use your dot, you've got that dot at 3 that makes it a good target. C, G. Back to your C. And then back to your ninth fret. So that was back to 8, back to 9. And there is the riff for the introduction and the verse. Pause this video now, take some time just getting that. G, F sharp, D, top string, C, G, and then repeat. Pause, and when you're ready, we'll come back and play the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus of One Step Ahead, we've got fifth fret of the top string and A being used and the octave shape. So we'll find the next highest A on seventh fret of your second string. That's one up from the bottom. A, A, A. So I'm going that octave, an octave meaning the same letter name for the note, but just a lower and a higher pitch of them. A little fill here. So I'm on fret 5 and 7 of your third string. Then dropping down to 5 on second string. Then back to 4. You can hammer that 5 and 7, which is the notes D, E, moving into G. So they're passing notes D and E. G is a chord note. The F sharp being a part of the D chord note. Octaves, fill, G, D on F sharp. And then we move back to the octaves, which will then start us into the chorus. So pause this video now. Add the pre-chorus into what you learnt in the verse. And when you're ready, let's start on the chorus. The chorus of One Step Ahead. We're starting with a scale based run on D minor. Then moving to a B flat note, which is top string, sixth fret. D minor. So I'm playing frets 5, 7, 8 on string number 3, D minor, B flat, octaves. So using that same shape that we talked about in the pre-chorus, 6th fret, 8th fret on the 2nd string. And then moving that octave shape back to the A. 
and this is the first half of the chorus. Let me put all that together now. D minor, B flat octaves, A octaves. Nigel does start to do some fills just at the end of that A part. I will show you one of those fills now, um, but it's not consistent. He doesn't do the same fill every single time, but he does something similar to this. B flat. So hammer-ons, you'll hear some hammer-ons in the Dirty Creature bassline as well that I've done a lesson for. If you don't know what hammer-ons are, just click the little video link that's appearing above me now. It will take you to my lesson teaching you how to do hammer-ons properly. So I'm hammering on 5th fret into 7th fret. So it makes it a G hammering into an A. G and then the E. 7th fret of 3rd string which nicely walks you back into starting that D minor riff again so first half of the chorus putting it together with a fill now second half using pretty much the same ingredients D minor walking B flat line but this time moving up to C and doing that octave fill. So just calling out the frets from B flat to C, we're moving eighth fret, 10th fret. And then to finish the chorus, A, and then a slide to the octave A. A was at fifth fret of the top string, sliding into 12th fret of third string. You've got double dots on pretty much every bass guitar that you're going to find at the 12th fret so it does make it an easy target to slide into that. So therefore if I put the whole chorus together I'll play it slightly slower. D minor walking to B flat A with a fill D minor B flat move to C now, 8th fret, A, slide to the A octave. From there you're just going back into a verse. So we've now completed the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus. Just about everything you'll need to play this whole song. Let's just look at the outro in this next clip. So at the very end of the song, it's a part of a verse. We start to slow down a bit. We make it to the C, but instead of sliding back to G, just moving back one fret to a B. So I'll put it in context. Here's where we play the, the last repeat of the verse. C, B and finish on a B as well. That is everything you need to know to successfully play One Step Ahead by Split Ends on the bass guitar. Look up my walkthrough video and even click the little tab that will appear above me now. It will take you to that walkthrough of me playing with the entire track. If you've learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button to give the video a like subscribe to our channel the eastern suburbs school of music here on youtube we've got lots of classic australian baseline lessons and walkthroughs for you to watch and learn from uh, and also if you've got a comment or a request for a song please leave it against this video good luck learning one step ahead by split ends on the bass guitar